Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, March 12, 2013. This is Talk To Me Tuesday, number 84. Uh, hopefully we'll not run into the issues this week in getting my video uploaded that I ran into last week. Uh, if anybody watched my video last week, you know I was like totally frustrated. And really to the point where I was ready to not even put a video up. I ended up doing two separate videos in hopes that the shortness and length would make a difference, but... It didn't. I finally got them up Thursday, so yeah, here's hoping today goes a lot smoother. Craft-wise, I set a goal last week to not only complete the last couple squares on the fourth and final whip along project, the knit patchwork afghan, but to also get the edging on all of them so that this week I could then start putting them together and get the edge on so that it would be done by next week. Well, I achieved my goal <laughs> and I did actually get the squares completed. I got the edging on all the squares as well. But then I took it a couple steps further and instead of just stopping there, I actually got it complete. So, um, I'm going to give you a basic idea of what it looks like but then I'm going to snatch my daughter up after and take her outside so that we can get some better pictures but here give you an idea <laughs> yeah uh, this turned out quite a bit bigger than I expected it was going to be when you look at the squares individually, you're saying, hey, you know, once I put an edge on them and, you know, put it together, it is quite a good size afghan, actually. Uh, all I have left to do now is sew in the ends, throw it in and wash it. I just, after it was all together, went around with a round of half double crochets because I didn't want this big crochet fest at the end because the basis is it's a knit afghan. Uh, really proud of it because if anyone's watched my videos from the beginning you know that my I haven't been really knitting that long. Um, at least not major things. I started learning how to knit when I learned how to crochet, which wasn't too successful when it came to tension. <laughs> so I did, over time, do a couple little things, basic little sweat or slippers. I did a hat or two. Um, I did do a small sweater that was like, you know, because it was for my oldest one when he was a baby, and that was a very basic anyone could do it kind of sweater. So I am really proud of this. And now that I've taken on this uh, and gotten this complete, <laughs> I'm going to ask for people's help. I would like to knit myself a sweater. I'm looking for a basic, simple, it's geared specifically for beginners, cardigan pattern. I like cardigans more than pullovers, so if anyone can help me out, I've been looking around, but I'm not really seeing a whole lot that's, you know, something specifically for a beginner. So if anyone out there knows of a site I can go to, or even has a pattern that maybe they could make a copy of, I would gladly pay for postage. So, yeah, it has to be a larger one because I'm not a small person. And I like room. So if you can help me out, message me and let me know. Other than that, that's about it. Very short video this week. So I see my daughter sneaking through here with a television. <laughs> now the TV, I got the label printed. Okay. So I'm sitting here... She's thank God she's not a burglar. Might be pretty bad burglar. So anyway, that's it. I'm gonna snatch this girl up now that she's down here and go outside and get some pictures of my Afghan. As it rains. Oh well, she'll live. <laughs> she won't melt. But if anybody can help me out with a sweater pattern, like I said, it has to be beginner, 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 because I'm not, you know, that skilled of a knitter. So, yeah. 
So I'm going to snatch her up and take her outside. And I look forward to seeing everyone's videos. I hope you all have a wonderfully crafty week and a wonderfully crafty weekend. And that's it. So for me, I'm out of here. For you, it's good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Whatever it is, I really hope it's a great one. And I'll see you all next week. Goodbye.